What's up guys? So another grooming day. I'm here at my room preparing myself to go to the shop. Today I'm gonna cut a very special dog. His name is Jackson. The owner of this dog is a friend of mine. So let's go to the shop. I will prepare myself first. See you. Bye bye. Oh, what a cute Pomeranian. The owner wants like a floppy one. It's like a ball. So let's try. Let's do this. So first thing, I always need to comb all the hair to get up. It's a little bit hard because the hair is so long and straight. So it's a bit hard to make it floppy. So I always start at the back. I use this one, the black one. I put it in between of his legs uh, because he always wants to sit. And I already wash him up. And I remove again because it's so hard to cut if hard like that. In this case, I need to come every time and I need to cut more because uh, the hair is really long and straight so if you want a flappy one you need to cut more and you need to come more so as you can see I always start at the back because Oh, most of the dog I cut, I always start at the back, but uh, it's dependent on the groomer. Uh, you can cut on the head first if you want. And I always use the straight one. Here, I need to use the straight one to cut more. And also we need to cut from body to feet because this one is a hand cut, not a shaved body. And I always use the straight scissor but you can also use the curved scissor if necessary. But I need to cut more so I need to use a straight scissor. But when you use the straight scissor, it's not so tidy, it's not so clean like that. So I always prepare to use the trimmer also to make it tidy and to make it clean, to make more detail. As you can see, you always want to sit down. That's why it's also hard to cut a Pomeranian if he always want to sit down next one the head this one we need to be very careful because it should be detailed for make him look like a floppy and more circle Jawa man ko eh. Naubusan man ako ng English. So yun. Uh, dito magtatagalog muna tayo. <laughs> uh, yun talaga. Uh, upo kasi siya ng upo kaya medyo mahirap siyang kupitan. Tapos dahil nga mahaba ang mahaba talaga yung buhok niya. So kailangan kong doblehin siya ng trimmer. Nakita nyo naman siya kanina ba? Diba? Gamit ko is straight na scissor. Tapos gumamit ako ng trimmer para maging detail siya. So, 
sobrang ingat lang talaga dapat kasi nga hindi ka pwedeng uh, mag overcut lalo na kasi handcut to uh, yung mga pumerenya na ganito kapag nag overcut ka hindi mo na siya mababawi uh, ang gagawin mo na lang is um, babawiin mo siya dun sa nagupit mo na so ipapantayin mo siya hanggang sa maging maliit na lang yung katawan niya hindi na siya floppy so kailangan dapat uh, napakaingat mo Medyo pagod lang talaga si Jackson kaya upo nang upo eh. Masyado kasi binapagod na may ari. And yun, kailangan lang talaga siyang ulit-ulitin para mas maging pulido yung pagkakagupit mo sa kanya. Kasi nga po meray niyan to ah. And guys kapag may breed ng aso at mga style ng aso na gusto nyo pa makita comment na lang kayo below. So yun usually trimmer na talaga yung ginagamit ko dito para mas maging floppy na siya. Kasi kapag ka nag-straight, kapag na nag-straight dito eh kakain siya ng kakain ng buhok. Mas may hirapan kang mag pantay, maghahabol ka na maghahabol kaya dapat uh, streamer na lang talaga siya dapat. So yun, nakikita nyo naman na po siya ng upo. Kaya dapat mahabang pasensya. O oh, yan, umupo na naman. Kailangan talaga ng pasensya. Para magupitan natin na maayos ang napakapit na asong to. Uh, guys, kapag may mga tanong kayo at may mga gusto pa kayong malaman, uh, pwede nyo po akong i-direct message sa Facebook. Nakalink na po dyan yung Facebook ko. And then, pwede din po kayo mag-comment below dito sa video nato sa YouTube. Willing po akong sagutin yung mga tanong nyo, lalo na kapag about sa aso. So yun guys, almost finish na siya. Finish yung touches na lang. Mukha na ba siyang blabby? So kailangan naman natin bumalik sa English para sa ating international viewers. So in the face and the head, I always use the trimmer to make more clean and tidy because this one need to be very detailed.
So here's the finished product. A floppy cereal for Marinian. I hope you like it guys. This is our pet grooming vlog number 6. Thank you for watching guys. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.